Ma'am? How? Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go! I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. This is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. Boy, I sure am hungry. You're always hungry. Oh, yeah. There's Cousin Calico's ranch. I'm raring to go. Cousin Calico? Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. What's that big thing? I thought you only made buckles. 
Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. It says, just buckles. Mamma mia! Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. Orchid squid of the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. And then eat this note. Three, zero, seven. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? One orange peel soda, please. One soda on the house. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. And this is my pal, Luther. Well, hello! Eight-fingered Phil. Dr. Piano-ology. At your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious-looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway.
the heavy. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? It's me, listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Creepy! Do you think that could be the rusty rustler they mentioned in the note? Hey, maybe it is. Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. <laughs> it won't open. It's locked. Wait a minute. Didn't I see a combination written somewhere? Hmm. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Three, zero, seven. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, two, three, nine, eight, seven, I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be 
must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm. A purple 10-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with a K on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in, because this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Alright, you hogfish, quiet down or else, or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I'd do the job for free if you brought me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. What size wood did they say they needed? Five feet by five feet. Oh, sure. I remember now. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my Monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my. I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't. Now, harmonica, harmonica. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's Sahara Slim Special Super Stew, my own recipe. Oh, 
Oh, not quite ready. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! It says free wood. This should be useful. How did you do that? That's my special secret. It says cabaret. 